Scene 1, Episode 2. A buffalo barges in on George the Lion and Sheila the Lion as dining. Something has happened to our precious water. Usually our pond is overflowing, but now we have less than a quarter of what we had yesterday. Calm down, calm down. Someone may have just drank more than they were supposed to. More like a couple of people. Go around and ask the other animal communities if they have used the water without asking. We have no water. Carl, I need you immediately. Yes, sir. I need you to investigate an issue we've received multiple complaints about. Two communities of animals are without water in their ponds. Go find out what is happening. As you wish. A beaver built a dam that has blocked off the water supply to the rest of the, of the savannah. Well, the easy part is done. Do you know the beaver's name? Yes, his name is Benny. Take me to him immediately. Scene 2. In this scene, Carl arrives to Benny the beaver's home where he has built a dam blocking the water supply. Hello? Hey, who are you? Good morning, sir. I'm Carl the Emu, right-hand man for King George the Lion. It has come to our attention that you have decided to build a dam, blocking the main water supply source to the entire savanna. You must urge you, sir, please break up the dam and allow the flow of our savanna's water supply. Listen here, Carl. This here property has been with my family for 100 years. When your noble king decided to expand his reign way past the horizon, that caused my family to move from a previous dam he needed the water from. I'm not about to uproot my family again so your king can expand his horizon once again. Well, unfortunately, your property sits right on the middle of the vital river that you have built this dam on. If you can come up with proof that this is your own land, then we can make a deal. Go. Here you go, buddy. These are the county official forms stating that this property is mine. Now what do you want to do? Scene 3. In this scene, Benny continues to fight for his dam as Carl urges Benny again to obey the king's order. Okay, I see that you officially own this property, but this is the king's order and I don't want you to go through any punishment for not obeying him. I don't care. I say again, this dam has been here for 100 years, and I will never take it down. Listen, Benny. If you just listen to the king, I'm sure he'll compensate you for your dam. You'll be helping the entire savanna, too. I mean, if it's really harming the savannah community like that... Wait, what am I talking about? No and no means no. That's final. Now run along and go tell your king what I've decided. Scene 4. Carl decides to leave Benny's residence as he's not getting anywhere with him. He goes to his office and starts pacing around. How am I supposed to convince this beaver to settle with us? Is there not a law that allows me to take his property for governmental use? Yes, there it is. What's it called again? Something with an E. Found it. Eminent domain. The government may take your private property for public use as long as they compensate you an equal and fair amount. Signed, King George and, Se- and Sheila the Lioness. Thank you, George and Sheila. I will take this to him, and he cannot say no to the law of the land. I will need someone along with me. Oh yeah, Leon. No, never mind. I don't need him. I will make George and Sheila proud and do this alone. 